Round two. And here with round two, Roman Reigns will lose the WWE Undisputed Universal Heavyweight Championship before WrestleMania 40. How do you feel about this one, Ryan? Do you agree with the statement at hand? Are you in or are you out on this one? I'm out on this one, Drew. Roman Reigns is in a new angle with the Bloodline Civil War. And it's, it's an extension and a wrinkle to probably one of the greatest long-term storylines in recent memory. He's defended his title 28 different times over the past three years. 28 different times. And he's gone through p champions past and not having one at all. Uh, Ricochet was... <laughs> even Ricochet was a, uh, a was a uh, contender at one point. But... Actually, I'm sorry. Not Ricochet. Cesaro. Cesaro. Now he's with uh, now he's with AEW. If you look at the roster, I can't really think of anyone in the main roster who could have thrown him right now. I don't know if maybe because Creative doesn't see a long-term storyline with another, like they did back in January into March, WrestleMania. This year's WrestleMania with Cody Rhodes. But again, he's coursed through just about every single champion, past and present, and I can't see anybody who could really challenge him for that title. Now, they could force another Cody Rhodes angle, and he finally completes his story, but that won't happen unless he wins another Royal Rumble. Cody Rhodes is on Raw. Roman Reigns is on SmackDown. There are, however, three guys I could see him get challenged in the future. A, the winner of the Money in the Bank match, and please, God, please don't let it be Logan Paul. <laughs> Drew McIntyre provided... <laughs> Money the Bank match winner. If he gets his contract situation finally settled, Drew McIntyre could challenge him again. And my last contender, Sola Sokoa, who could betray Roman and challenge him down the line. But right now, with this no challengers, I can see dethroning him now. I don't, I don't really see him dropping the title before WrestleMania 40 in, in Philadelphia. But you disagree that you think he will lose it before WrestleMania and for the sake of debate. I'm going to say... Come on, man. This story... <laughs> And how much further is this story with the bloodline going to go? I mean, how much further is it going to go? Now you have the civil war that's going on between. you. At some point, Solo is going to leave. And then you're going to have more contenders coming at you. You've already got main event Jey Uso. You've got Solo Sokoa is eventually going to break free. you got all these other wrestlers around you. You've also got Cody Rhodes, who's trying to complete the story. And depending on how things turn up for SummerSlam will depend on the angle for that. Yes, more than likely, I'm going to be wrong on this one. And he's going to actually hold it until WrestleMania and drop it to someone more notable. But it's not going to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson is what everybody hopes. Ugh. But I'm thinking that if The Rock comes back for WrestleMania 40 and they wrestle each other, it's not going to be for the Universal Championship. And the match itself will be bigger than the actual title match. So what's the point of him going into that into that WrestleMania and holding the actual title hostage? Because his character at this point is actually being very hypocritical to what his character was before the pandemic and before he got sick and had to step down when he was going against Brock Lesnar, who was the part time champion, the part time universal champion. And he was all upset about that. And he was saying those words, go back, and look them up on WWE Network. I'll plug that real quick and their YouTube channels, because you probably are watching on YouTube right the father right now. When you think about all that and you put it all in perspective and you have WrestleMania 40 looming on, unless you're going to drop it to a big name, which by WrestleMania 40, because you want to hype it up because it is the 40th edition of WrestleMania. If you are going to drop it at that point, do you face Cody two years in a row and complete the story after a full year length run of him being back on the card healthy and working his way up to that point? I don't know. I don't know. But what I can say for the sake of debate, because McAfee was out, I have to be in because we can't agree on everything on this show. And I have to bring my power <laughs> and entertainment with this. So those of you out there watching are inner mother, father, and tained when it comes to wrestling topics, because this is an entertaining topic. This will be interesting to see how things pan out between now and WrestleMania 40. Will Ryan be right? More than likely. Will I be wrong? More than likely. We'll see how this topic goes. Let us know in the comments. Sertoba Media, where the struggle is real to be awesome.